Pedro's gonna be calling me Poppy tomorrow. I'm like, who's your daddy? I'm daddy. The family Chantel had a lot of drama with Pedro's family this week. Well, let's start off with Chantel. She was hanging out with her brother, River, and she was talking about her recent blind date that she went on and lamenting about how hard it is to date these days. Oh my God, it's so hard dating, River. Why? I am what? in my 30s. And yeah. if I want to date an American man, they take so long to marry. American men propose. Well. Yeah, you know it. You're an wait, American huh, man. Wait, 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 they take at saying? least four years. She also said that she's considering freezing her eggs as she looks for Mr. Right. It is so hard to find that person. So I'm taking the idea of freezing my eggs more seriously now. You have a family that loves you, that is here to support whatever decision you want to make. We're all here. I'm here. Later, she met up with Obed to get some tea on Pedro, and he confirmed her suspicions about Karima. Obed confirmed that Pedro and Karima did date. And to hear that come from his mouth is the confirmation that I never wanted. All of the years of Pedro gaslighting me and telling me that I'm crazy for my suspicions, and I actually began to believe him. On the flip side in the Dominican Republic, we caught up with Scott after his brawl with Pedro last episode. He went to go see Lydia and explain what happened. Pedro, punch me here, here, and see. No, why? Oh, baby. Oh, por favor. No, look, it's not, it's not funny. In serio. Look, look. Oh, my God. O sea, él tiene, tiene que entender, Scott, que yo solamente tengo mis hijos, que ellos siempre quieren protegerme. Lydia seemed to think that the fight was a fairly normal thing, which left Scott super shook. Family's dysfunctional. I mean, she doesn't see anything wrong with what's happening. There's no empathy, there's no nothing. Well, there, I'm getting, my kids are very protective. It's crazy, man. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna go with the craziness. You know, you become a product of your environment. I'm here and I'm crazy. It seems like Scott isn't going to let bygones be bygones. He says that he's going to get even with Pedro by making some moves on Lydia. So this is a crazy state of my life. And right now, I'm really pissed off about what happened today with Pedro. Now I'm taking it personal. So let's make some bad decisions, and then I'll tell him about it in the morning. ¿Cuál es la, ma la mala decisión que tú quieres tomar? I think we need to make some little Pedros tonight. Creo que tenemos que hacer un pequeño Pedro ese esta noche. Pedro met up with his mom later, and he was really upset that she believed Scott's story. So he pulled out the videos that he had of Scott poolside with some other ladies to show his mom. Mm -hmm. Ah, tratando de enamorarla. Ah, pero. Esa es una tipa, ¿verdad? Eran tres. Yeah, okay. Le da la, está hablando con esta, habla con la otra, ¿verdad? Que sí me le da el teléfono a esta. Sí. Cada mujer que estaba por la piscina eh, iba, hablaba con ella. Y le pedía el teléfono. Y le pedía el teléfono. Tiene un canalla. And Lydia was super upset to say the least. Ese es un hombre de un vulgar charlatán que no sirve. Es un cerdo. Ya yo le quería dar una oportunidad, pero veo que no se la merece. She ended up going to see Scott to confront him, and things got ugly. Está gordo y está feo, no me gusta. Y tu sexo no es bueno. Tu boom boom en la cama no es bueno. What? Ah, sí. No. Sí, so así true. es. Pero aparte de que no eres tan bueno en la cama, la mujer que se acuesta contigo está expuesta a una enfermedad venérea, a un papiloma humano, porque tú te arrastras con toda mujer que te pasa por el lado. And Scott literally had my jaw on the floor with his comeback. All right, if you're going to take cheap shots at me, you just lay there and you don't do anything. And it tells me a lot. You haven't been in six and 12 years and it shows. The Colombian sex is the best I ever had. 
Unidad irlandesa, ella me disparó, te quedas ahí y no haces nada y me dice que me ríe 6 y 12 años muestra. El sexo colombiano es el mejor de todos. Si es sexo colombiano, bueno, que se vaya para Colombia. Pero la colombiana lo votó, no lo quiere. Como hombre, él no sirve. Goodness, Lydia ended up ending things with Scott after that wild interaction. She ended up telling Pedro what happened, and he seemed super happy that his mom ended things. Date aquí ya. Y hay un trozo de preso, hay un trozo de hombre o fuera. Hay un trozo de hombre ahí que. Tú sabes que tú estás dura, tú te ves bien. Dale, caché, caché, dale caché, ve, dale caché, ay, ay, no, dale, ya está, ya para, para. My mom is smart. She has a good job, a good heart. But when she comes into decisions to date a man, she's terrible. Look at my dad, look at Scott. Here that my mom, we with Scott. I'm very happy, very proud of my mom, because in the end, that guy was a douchebag. Later on, Pedro was talking to his sister, Nicole, and she revealed what went on with Alejandro, who almost met up with Chantel's mom, Karen, in New York City. And now it seems like Pedro's family is going to get some revenge. The family Chantel tried to make my life like hell. They had to stop. Vamos a planificar algo, Nicole. De que vamos a joderlo a ellos también. Ella no sabe con quién se mete. My family has been very peaceful about all the process, but right now my family is very mad at them, and I don't know what my mom going to do or what my sister going to do it because my mom and my sister are very protective of me. It's time that we defend ourselves, that we do something to them. So whatever my mom and my sister do, I don't care. Nicole and her mom went to a voodoo shop to get some things to spook the family Chantel. Después de 10 años de ello haber respetado a Pedro, a mi familia, a nuestra cultura, ellos ya se merecen una vengancita, ¿verdad? Gracias por todo. Siempre la voy, siempre estamos aquí para servirle. Va a estar asustado. Nunca más van a ellos joder con nosotros. But the family Chantel does not play when it comes to voodoo, and they set the whole box on fire. When someone devises to curse a person or people using black magic, it's very serious. And I just know this has to be something from Pedro's fishy witches. One thing we don't do, we don't mess around with none of this stuff. And now Chantel is so upset about everything that happened that she's vowing to go to the Dominican Republic and confront Pedro's family. Sending a box of voodoo feels like a declaration of war. And if that's what they want, well, they're going to get it. I don't give a anymore. I'm going. Grab your holy oil, grab your crucifix, grab your Bibles. They can take this voodoo and shove it up their asses because that does not work on my family.